Hi everyone, welcome back. Before we jump into today's video, I wanted to mention this video is sponsored by California Psychics. California Psychics is the leading online destination where you can make a connection with a psychic advisor who could potentially change your life. I had some pretty profound takeaways from my discussion with a psychic advisor through California Psychics, and I wanted to tell you all about it. So sometimes when you work by yourself, you're so close to your work that you give yourself imposter syndrome. This imposter syndrome can sometimes lead to like second guessing your business decisions. And that's really why I like getting multiple different sources of feedback throughout the year, whether that's PR consultants, blogger mastermind groups, my friends, my family. So my goal in speaking with a psychic advisor was to really get some clarity on business and career after a very tumultuous 2020. And before you click off this video, definitely consider my experience and point of view as a very analytical thinker, type A person, ENFJ. I actually found Psychic Dolores just through browsing through the site. Psychic Dolores starts all of her calls with asking her clients for their first name and date of birth. And to get the most out of our conversation, I just gave her a little bit of context on my career and kind of where I'm at. This year I'm kind of at an impasse between what I'm currently doing and then pivoting into a new business venture that might take up a lot more of my time. It was really encouraging that Dolores advised me that I was really on my true life path in the right direction in becoming a teacher and guide for others, teaching them how to make a livelihood in my case, specifically teaching people how to make a livelihood online. She also quickly picked up on my work ethic and discipline, knowing that I'm a very hard worker and everything I do, I pour a lot of effort and time into. She also called me out on my love of money and the importance of money in my life. Dolores was very funny and upbeat. She even referenced Snoop Dogg, uh, the song Gin and Juice during our consultation. She said, Chelsea, it's okay to have your mind on your money and your money on your mind. I love Snoop Dogg. I've seen him in concert multiple times. That was just one of the many moments in our call where like, I feel like she really got me even though I didn't reveal that much. She also used the analogy uh, when it comes to career and what I meant to do as the fisherman teaching others to fish. The fish are free, but the rods are for sale. And that analogy definitely really aligned with where I'm at right now and what my business plans are for this year. It's definitely what I wanted to hear and that was very encouraging. When it comes to personal insights, she revealed a lot about my inner soul and like just my purpose here in this world. Close family members and friends have repeatedly told me I'm an old soul, so to hear it from my psychic advisor was definitely really interesting. She also told me that my soul is here on a humanitarian mission. That was something I immediately identified and linked to my love of travel and learning about other cultures and just educating myself the best I can. She said that vineyards and olive trees came to mind, which was also another really profound takeaway in our reading because I live in Sonoma County wine country and I need to reiterate my full name, my home address, and my social media was not provided in advance of our call. So there's literally no way she could have known where I lived, my last name. There were multiple times during our one hour conversation where I was just speechless. There were so many things that she knew about me intuitively knew about me and hearing these things about your inner self truly give you some kind of validation and i think that's important because that can be the little extra courage you need in your day-to-day -day life for you to pursue your goals and just work that little bit harder perhaps the biggest thing i got out of our call was that without being prompted to dolores gave me two key things to do, like kind of take home homework assignments. She recommended these daily exercises to help me become my own magnet for manifestation through the attitude of gratitude. I had been wanting to add these to my daily routine. I just didn't know how to ask, who to ask, or why to ask, or exactly where to start. She also explained to me that when you say thankful to the universe, you're kind of giving the universe permission to give you more. Dolores is also a singer, so she gave me plenty of recommendations for actual music to listen to after our call to really invoke my inner humanitarian and global citizen, especially with my personal goal of learning more languages and learning about more cultures. So you can browse psychic advisors on California Psychics by rating, by tools, abilities, and also by price. So you can pick someone at a price that works for you. I totally recommend it if you're seeking extra clarity and validation for those things deep down inside. If you're curious to explore your inner self or some of your career aspirations a little bit deeper, it's really up to me 
to make these business decisions happen, to keep up with my daily affirmations and my gratitude journal and studying these other languages. A psychic's not gonna do that work for me. I've had a little help tapping into my inner self and I know what I need to do in order to take things to the next level. Have you done a psychic reading before? I would love to hear a little bit about your experience. Thank you again for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below and I'll see you very soon in the next one.